Sir, I think you need to see this. Sir, you really need to see this. What? It's a gift. From an old connection. It's been off the grid for a couple of years now. Codename Birdie. <laughs> we codenamed the guy Birdie. No wonder he went off the grid. Just take them. You don't look much like a thief. It wouldn't be stealing. on the girl. Birdie. He took my silver ball as his payment for his services. Now he's giving them back. For some reason, he's reaching out. Can I trust him? Or has his allegiance shifted towards more lucrative business partners? No matter. Before I go after Lenny, I will reclaim my weapons. I have been adrift for too long. What's up everyone, Sinistrain01 back at you with more Hitman Absolution. Time for this next mission, which is actually a pretty short but also a fun mission. Um, as you can see, I've already completed it and whatnot. Uh, I've got most of the challenges, however, um, there's still a few things left that I didn't do, which I just pretty much didn't worry about. Um, so as you can see, we're on Purist again with a 45% plus. Not too worried about the score, there is nobody to take out again, so there will not be no Silent Assassin, unfortunately. Birdie. But, what we're going to do, um, this mission is called Birdie's Gift. It's really fun, very, very simple to do if you just follow the steps that I do. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways that we can complete this mission, and I'm going to try to complete it in more ways than one so I can show you all the different ways to do this. So, without further ado, let's do it. Alright, so, first thing we're going to want to do is head over here. And uh, you, don't forget to pick up every single weapon that you guys see. Um, it'll really help you out a lot. Uh, if you've come over here at the right time, shut off this as quickly as possible. Go ahead and pick up any you know miscellaneous weapons you want. All right, so if you've done this in the right amount of time, we're just gonna wait for this guy right here to go by. As soon as he does, then we're gonna head inside. Uh, looks like we might as well just go ahead and do it. Alright, so, um, usually it's all about timing, so I think maybe because I paused it, the timing was off just a little bit. But if you do not pause it in the beginning, then, um, you go and straight and do the, take out the box and whatnot, then, uh, the timing should be pretty perfect. And you should just be able to go in and grab the key card and then make your way. But if you do what I did right there, I mean, well, then, hey, it works as well. 
as you can see there's a camera right here so uh, in order to obviously not be spotted and to get a higher score go ahead and pick up the evidence that's right here very simple uh, as well as pick up the uh, awesome gun this thing is perfect you get shit loads of ammunition for it and uh, we're gonna be using it up ahead so that's really cool pick up this notebook because this is gonna uh, get us into the safe that uh, we need to open up the box to get our weapons now normally you would think okay we would go back but actually continue along this route right here and uh, we're gonna be behind where they're actually firing uh, you can actually get up there but if you want to die yeah go ahead um, I recommend definitely picking up this sniper rifle as it is gonna come in handy big time uh, the reason I'm doing this is because we can complete this level without actually doing the challenge or without actually doing what the mission said that we should do which is to uh, shoot with Lily right that's what the guy said hey if you want this weapon I'll sell them to you if you beat her in uh, you know marksmanship challenge well what we're gonna do is show you how to bypass that whole thing but first let's take a look at a familiar yeah, face at me, fairy. that's right Lynch ladies and gentlemen so we had Kane in the first uh, part in the last mission and now we've got Lynch so what we're gonna do right now is get his to, uh, to look the other way uh, if you're good on the timing you should be able to go right in here you can go right by go ahead and head in and get the safe uh, the safe has the key that we're going to need in order to um, bypass the shooting range and all that kind of stuff if you don't want to do it. Then you can just head through this very nicely conveniently placed vent. Uh, don't worry about the two cops here. I recommend if you want the chameleon challenge which is just uh, taking the cops uniform. Uh, as soon as you switch that get behind this guy, subdue him, get his disguise, and that's all you need to do. It's pretty simple. Remember, you just have to complete it once. You don't even, I'll, as soon as you do it, you can actually just leave. Now, uh, we're pretty much good to go. So right now, we can actually walk up to, um, walk up to the display case and actually get our weapons and then exit out the door. We've completed the mission. However, um, I thought it would be fun to actually go ahead and complete the, um, the actual challenge. The reason being is because we have a sniper rifle. And we also have a uh, pretty much a huge machine gun, so we're going to have plenty of ammunition and hopefully we can be good enough to outscore Lily. It is very hard to actually beat her, and I'm not sure if the points go up when you're on purist as if you're on normal, so I can't tell you anything about that. But let's go ahead and uh, try this. Well, hey there, cowboy. I hear you're up for a match. Go on ahead and pick out any gun you want from that store over there. Once you've picked out your piece, come on back and we'll rumble. But don't worry about ammo. As long as you're competing, you can use all you want. All right. Got to be as fast as you can on this. Should be your last one, then you need to reload. Make sure you've gotten all headshots so far. Uh, it's pretty much imperative that every single shot you do is a headshot. Alright, try to do the best you can. Hopefully you're still getting lots of headshots. Now you can switch back. And you're fully stocked up right now, so... Should be a couple to come right here. Try to be as best as you can. Obviously I didn't really do that good right there. But we still have plenty of seconds right now. Try to get this as quickly as you can. All right, we might get it. We got six seconds. Here we go. Oh, 
And we did it. Alright, there you go. Woohoo! 500. Dang. You beat me fair and square. Damn right I did. It's completely fair. I didn't have the thing memorized at all. Alright, so there you go. As you can see, we have already uh, opened what we needed. You can still even, you know, we've already got them equipped and all that great stuff. So you can spend any uh, whatever time you want around picking up other weapons and, uh, you know, making sure you pick up all the stuff so you can collect. You've already got the evidence. There's some other little mini games. Since this was a short mission, I'll show you a couple of other little mini games. Get a little bear there. Uh, so if you go in here, uh, you can see all the little ducks. Uh, you can just go right up there and actually shoot the rubber ducks and you can complete a challenge as long as you uh, shoot them all. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, and as you can see, this is where we enter into the other section. You can go have a conversation with, uh, with Lynch here if you want. Hey buddy. I saw your brother Kane earlier, man. What? What? I'm Hitman. I have a better series than you. What are you going to do about it? Huh, Lynch? What are you going to do? That's right. I'm just going to walk away. That's right. Like a badass. So, <laughs> alright, that's enough of me having fun. He said pick up all that great stuff that's around. And you can see there's that main guy, so uh, if you timed everything right like I did, then you won't ha ever have to worry about him when you enter through that section. And we beat the crap out of her, so that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we're going to go ahead and complete this mission and see what we got. Because we's a badass. We's a badass. And remember, always come back here for the best uh, playthroughs. Always going to be on the expert difficulty for stealth games, just the way you like it. Alright, so that's pretty much the highest you're going to get, you know, right now. So, uh, sweet. 33,000. Um, you know, if I would have done some more challenges, I'm sure I could even get higher or whatever, but I'm not too worried about it since this is, again, another one of those, uh, you're not going to get a Silent Assassin rating. But you can see I've got a lot of stuff unlocked. There's still some more weapons that I didn't pick up, and that was actually uh, the first time, the one that you guys saw, that I ever completed uh, the shooting range, so I was actually on it. But I had practiced a few times, so I'm not going to say I didn't practice that part. So it was not easy because, obviously, you had to get, like, every shot almost a headshot. And uh, it's just, once you memorize and you know where the targets are, use that uh, sniper rifle for most of your shots. And then the one time when you saw I moved over, um, switch over to the uh, auto, you know machine gun. And then, because you cannot do the point shooting with the sniper rifle, it's automatically going to switch over to another weapon. And that takes too much time, so you lose precious time for, um, you know, because the targets are only up for so long. So, still... A lots, uh, you know, lots more weapons that we could have picked up and different stuff like that, but not too worried about it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and plenty more Hitman will be coming. I'm going to try to get at least one mission out every single day, possibly two. As you can see, there was two for tonight. So hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out, bitches.